Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering new topics added to the CCNA course 200-125. And this is section 2.4, device maintenance. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to perform password recovery on a Cisco iOS router. I'll show you how to perform password recovery on Cisco uh, iOS switch as well, but this they want to add that for the CCNA course just a router. If you lose or if the enable secret password is lost or unknown, then the password recovery must be performed to access the privilege mode. This does vary from between the devices. So obviously router and switch is a bit different. The thing is with the, with the password recovery, you have to have a you have to be physically close to the device. You can't do it remotely. Yeah, so you have to be a, you have to have a console access to the device. So first, what you need to do do you need to shut down the router, or unplug the cable, then put it back on or switch it on, and then enter the ROM one mode. Now this is this a step of keys that you need to press to enter the ROM one mode. Once you enter the ROM one mode, then you have to change the configuration register to two one four two. This will ignore the, the startup configuration file. That's a password you want to like skip. And then make necessary changes to the original startup configuration file. Then save the new configuration and reload the device. So the Roman mode is basic file system of the ISR router. To enter the Roman mode, you must issue a break sequence during the boot up process. So within 30 seconds. To do so, so you must power off the, the and then power on the device, so first off and on. Within 30 seconds, pray, press a break sequence. Putty, for example, for Putty, we has control break for Teratum, Alt B, for Windows, just break. And the Roman prompt should eventually be displayed. So once you are in Roman, there will be this mode. It will say Roman 1. And then default register, it's 0210. Let me just open a notepad. So for example, the if I bring it here, yeah, just so the default is 0x2102. This means that okay, well, this zero means read the startup configuration file and boot up normally. Now, what we don't want is to actually the router to read this startup configuration file. So, for example, when we are in like this, Roman one, that's just first line, we go and say conf reg then x0 2 1 4 2 which means okay well don't read the startup configuration file just just boot right and it will enter the roman 2 like this and then we said reset and so the router will reload once it reloads now you will have a normal configuration you will you can go in there's nothing it would ask you the, the startup would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog and then you can set up your password well, first, what you need to do, you need to copy the startup configuration to running configuration file, change the password to the password that you would remember, and then config hyphen register 0x2102 to put it to default. And then once you reboot the router, you'll have access to it, right? Now, it's, it's very difficult to actually show you without actually having hands-on, but it's not hard at all. You just switch off and then switch it back on the device, press break key, the break key, the pause break key is, is mm, last key next to the keyboard. So, and then you you enter this mode, the ROM one mode. In ROM one mode, you just type this, doing not to read the startup configuration file, reset. Then you will be entering without configuration. You can type enable. You can do whatever you want. To save the configuration, you say copy startup config to running config, and then you do changes. For example, one change you want to do, you want to reset the password to password that you know. Reset the register to the default and then copy running config to start a config and then reload. Now on the switch, I, I, I went to the internet and got this from the Cisco website. On the switch is a bit different. Switches, first of all, they don't have on and off button. They just, to switch them off, you need to pull the cable out, power cable. Pull the power cable out, then hold this mode button here while you're holding it pull the uh, put the power cable back in now keep hold the mode button and hold it there for I don't know about 20 seconds or so so if I if I open this and then you will receive some text on the screen yeah so there will be something like a flash 
in it like this and then there was some the other text and so on but when you see that text great you're there so what you need to do you need to pretty much write that initialize the flash once the flash has been initialized you do dir dir which is directory flash and press enter when you do directory dir uh, sorry dir to flash you should see a file here somewhere saying config.txt like this now there is a password which you, you don't want or which you don't know so what you need to do you need to rename that file yeah so rename if you don't want to lose it rename flash config.txt to flash um, config.all for example so once you rename the file then you can do a reset and the switch will start without reading this configuration uh, like startup configuration file and then you can enter the configuration change the password and then reload there's no register that you need to reset you just need to either delete or rename this startup configuration file and then you can rename it back or put it on the on the running configuration okay um, that's it I think yeah thank you very much for watching please have a look at other videos and don't forget to subscribe this has been Astrid Krasnici bye bye